Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the advanced lofting features. Now as you can see on screen, on the left hand side we have two challenges to complete. So the first one is looking at the use of rails to guide a loft and the second is looking at how you can add twists. And if you need any of the completed files or any further documentation to complete these activities, okay, you can find those in the description below. So if we jump into Fusion 360, so the third challenge for Loft is going to introduce the use of sketches that will guide the path between each of these 2D shapes. So it's using a guide rails basically. And what I've created is two, two work planes, two offset work planes from the okay, bottom work plane. So one underneath, one at the top. I'll just turn them off again. And then each of those uh, work planes I've created an oval. As you can see, there are three different sizes. If we now go to loft and we try to loft these shapes, what um, if it's click on X, select like the bottom one, then the middle one and the top one, or vice versa. Okay, what it's done, it's merged those together and it's followed a natural curve around here to create a design. However, if I wanted these sort of edges or it to be deformed and go in and follow a certain path, I need to add what's called a rail or a number of rails. So if we go back to the home position, what I've done is I've actually inserted two rails either side like this. So that oval is going to come up here. Okay, it's going to merge into that one, but then it's going to, on these two edges, it's going to follow that path. Okay, and then when it goes from this one to the top one, it's going to follow that path and go in. So it's a bit like the top of a mannequin we're creating. So if we go back and just hide, okay, the sketch, that's the one. Click on sketch. What we're going to do, we're going to use these three edges here. Now, if we click on, say, spline, I have to use spline. You could use a straight line if you wanted to follow. We'll get some nice curves in the spine. What this is going to do is it might snap to the edges or it might not. Okay, so we've got to just be careful. We want it to snap to those edges. So the easiest way to do that, if we come at a straight angle, a bit of an angle here, is to go and use the project. And there's lots of different options in here, but we're going to use um, what's going to be the simplest one. We're going to use the project just the project itself. I'm going to click on that edge and click OK. And what that does, it brings up two points at that bit. If I press P again for project, brings up the two points down there, P again for project, and it brings up those two points. Now, when we're drawing now, we've got these points to snap to, which is important. Because sometimes if we don't snap to these points and we leave a gap or the line goes over the sketch, then that's where it can cause errors and the loft will error out and it won't work. So we're going to click a sketch to start here and it doesn't really matter as long as I intersect these shapes like so. I click the green tick. I could, if I wanted it to be the same, I could, so I need the same on the opposite side, I could just, whoop, perhaps if I draw that, okay, so it's vertical. There we go. I could use a mirror. I could say object to mirror, this curve, mirror line, that one, and it will mirror onto the other side. And if I click OK, you know, I'm going to deform this. It's going to change on the opposite side. I could even just draw, you know, a different shape depending on what I wanted on that side. So it's important that your sketch ends at those points there and it snaps to this one and then between there it could be whatever shape you want so that's a little bit of a weird shape so let's bring that down a bit and click and tick so you can see that's how you could create those guide rails so what we're going to do now is go into loft we're going to go from the bottom one again if i could select the bottom one so let's make sure we're clicking on profiles there we go and then select this one and select top one. And then now we're going to go rails. So 
you can see what's happening here now if we go from the front view and then when we click this whoa it pulls that shape right out of like that but it does have a bit of an effect on the other side so this is where sometimes you do need to put a rail on the opposite side whoa and we click on that one and you can see very very quickly if we click OK you've got this really weird organic shape where we've used those rails for it to follow now if I just go and delete that and just hide that one and turn on my original one where I've created that sort of mannequin design you can see here I mirrored that one I created it on one side and mirrored it onto the other Again, if we go up to loft, and we're going to go from bottom to middle, or top to middle, whatever. There we go. Again, it's going to want to go to that shape, but if we go to rails, well, distorts that, but it does affect the opposite side. So then we need to go to this one, click OK, and if I turn those off, you, you can see I've created that sort of mannequin design. And again, you could come into this and add extra features and hold things out. And if we go to that, you can see we've got this really cool design. And if I go to and select that one and go to sectional, you can see we've now got this hollow organic design, like so, because I've hollowed or shelled it out. Okay. So there we go. So you can see how now you can create a loft using those guide rails. So the final challenge is the master challenge within a loft. And what we've got here is a lofted shape which goes from one hexagon at the bottom to the hexagon at the top. But what we've done is we have twisted the actual loft between the two shapes. So that's quite easy to do. So let's have a look at how we're going to achieve that. So what I've done here is I've set up the drawing. So on this uh, base work plane, I've sketched out a polygon. And then what I've created from the base work plane is I've created an offset work plane, as we've done before in the previous parts of the video, and then created another hexagon at the top. Now, if I go up to loft, and I create a loft, between these two shapes. What you'll see here, if I just turn off that, it will follow that natural shortest distance. Okay, so if you right click and edit it, you can see what's happened is the points from the bottom, creating that edge between there and there, the shortest distance. Now what we could have done is the hexagon, we could have sketched it slightly rotated at the top and that will result in a twisted okay, loft. However, what we can do is we can use these points. What I'm gonna do is just move them. I'm gonna move each one over to the side. Okay, so you can see there what I've got is a bit of a problem. So if I just bridge each one of these over, like so to start with, and if it does error out, then this, will not be in gray basically it'll come up with a bigger area so i'll just move those out a little bit so i can grab each one so now i can just snap it to that one i can snap that one to that one and then we're snapping that one to that point and this one up here i'm going to right around until I've created that shape. So now when we look from the top, you can see it's got that twisted shape. And that was just by editing the position of those endpoints. So basically what point it connects to. So instead of connected to the shortest point, okay, it's gone to the opposite point each time, all the way around. So that is another way you can very, very easily okay create a loft and a twisted loft. And again, we could go up to there, you know, shell that out, and then we can see actually inside how that created a twisting shape as well. And that's the uh, master activity done. 
Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.